Hello, Grand Rapids. This is City Manager Mark Washington. So glad you are with us today, and hopefully you've had a fantastic holiday weekend as we celebrated Memorial Day and honored those who have given the ultimate sacrifice to our country with their lives. This past week, the City Commission met and decided that we'll have one more virtual meeting in June. That'll be on June the 15th. And in July, the first meeting, which is scheduled for July the 13th, uh, newsflash, it will be on site in the City Commission chambers on the ninth floor at City Hall. As a matter of fact, all of our other public bodies will begin meeting in person as well beginning July 1. And so uh, we are thankful for the uh, increase in vaccinations in our state as well as the decrease in infections. And we're looking forward to resuming some of our normal activities that we were unable to do while we were in COVID. So we are looking for that day. We'll make sure that uh, City Hall is ready, that it is uh, safe and sanitized, and we'll still take all the appropriate cautions, particularly for those persons who've not been vaccinated, to make sure that they're still able to uh, interact in a very safe manner. A couple of weeks ago, the City Commission finalized and passed the $546 million spending plan for fiscal year 22. There are a lot of things that are in the budget that advance our strategic priorities and furthers our mission as a city to become an inclusive, equitable, welcoming place with a robust economy and a safe community and a vibrant, uh, engaged uh, citizenry. And so uh, $546 million budget was approved. $25 million of that was devoted to equitable uh, investments that will ensure more inclusive outcomes. We were very fortunate to have $92 million in relief funding from the federal government that uh, will allow the, the, the city, number one, to focus on fiscal sustainability and address uh, the nearly $60 million of revenue shortfall that we will have uh, by the end of uh, 2024, but also to help us focus on some of our other areas of uh, near-term priorities like public safety and housing, crime prevention, and our third ward equity fund, our neighborhood of focus funding. As a matter of fact, the city commission agreed uh, this past week to proceed with allowing $2 million to be divided among our various wards of our city uh, in a participatory process in which we will engage the residents and get the ideas from the residents and what their thoughts are in terms of priorities and programs and planning and initiatives and uh, have an engaged process where each ward will have three citizens, uh, two appointed by the commissioners of the ward and one appointed by the mayor. And they will uh, work with uh, commissioners to determine how to best engage the ward and seek ideas and uh, prioritize the ideas and, and have those recommended back to the city commission and staff for implementation. And so we uh, are released uh, some information here recently. You can go on our website to see the latest press release about the announcement of the process and how over the next uh, two, three months, we plan to engage both community and commission in uh, bringing forth uh, those ideas from the public. So lots of good things happening in our city. Uh, we are looking forward to the reopening or continued opening of our economy. We have wonderful events that are planned. This weekend we're looking forward to part one of Festival of the Arts and they will do so in a very creative way in the many social zones throughout the city. As a matter of fact, uh, this past commission meeting, uh, we approved four additional social zones throughout our city. We had three uh, prior to the meeting and now we have seven. And so we are glad to see the expansion of those areas that allow for a very safe outside interactions and, and, and support of our businesses and retail. Uh, and it just makes our city come alive. Looking forward to many, many more events this summer. And I can't wait till I see many of you in person. Today I had a, the opportunity to participate in my first meeting, uh, first group meeting in over uh, almost a year and a half in person and uh, brought such excitement and joy. I can't wait to see everyone in person. Look forward to seeing you virtually in June and on site in July. Uh, see you then.